Welcome back to Thimbleweed Park. We should Park. split up. Welcome back to Thimbleweed Park. Hmm. Uh... Alright then. Let's go talk to the sheriff, I think. I'm not sure. Hello again, Agent Arenos. Oh Hopefully the coroner fills you in on our state-of-the-art Areno computers. Uh... That's some very serious computing power you've got there. Yes, sir, Areno. It's all state-of-the-art computer Renos from Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. Uh-huh. You're also the coroner, right? Oh, my, no. Ha-ha! <laughs> no, 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 Areno. People say there is some resemblance around the eyes, but we're as different as peas arenos in a pot arenos. Uh huh. Plus, the, the coroner has that a... annoying uh -huh. who he adds, he adds to everything. everything. <laughs> You'll never hear me doing that, Areno. Uh huh. You, I mean, the coroner <laughs> said something about the arrestron. Yes, the arrestron three thousand. The last step in a fully computerized Areno arrest. The final link in the chain of a guaranteed conviction of Reno. Every detail of Reno analyzed and verified by computer. Moving on. Yeah, really. Right. Uh, sorry, Areno. I, I get carried away sometimes. Uh huh. This is the big bad boy Areno you've been hearing about the Arrestron 3000. Uh, just feed three reports from other Tron machines into this, Can and it issues a 100% Areno valid arrest warrant. Yeah, these machines are the reason we need only one law enforcement officer Areno. Chuck said the computers will soon put us all out of work, allowing for a full life of luxury. Mm -hmm. Chuck? Sadly, Chuck passed away a few days ago. There was a big service out at the cemetery, Areno. Oh, the entire town showed up, which isn't surprising for the hero of Thimbleweed County. Uh -huh. We'll talk more about Chuck later. I need to run a Reno and check on a disturbance call out at the old circus. Probably that stupid clown Areno again. That stupid clown Areno? Looks like we need to go talk to the rest of the weirdos that live in this town. We should split up. It will be faster. You cooling your heels in the local diner would also make things go faster. If we follow agency questioning protocols, this shouldn't take long. <sighs> Just don't mess anything up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Agreed. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, I think we uh, let's check out the drawers here. Just a bunch of files. There's a fingerprint book here. Oh, let's take that. Oh, you already took it. Never mind. Open this one. Just a bunch of files. Uh, look at fingerprint book. This has fingerprints for everyone in Thimbleweed Park. Certified Fingertron 3000 compatible. Cool. Alright, let's open the door because I think there was something downstairs we need to get in the coroner's office. Like I said, I, I played some of this already, so I do know some things. Let's see, open this drawer here. It's empty. It's empty. There's a fingerprint kit here. Oh, cool. There's a fingerprint brush. A small amount of fingerprint powder, but it's missing the fingerprint tape. Hmm. Looks like we need that. I don't know where we get that. Lots of fingerprints in here. Way too many for me to go through. It's already open. Okay, There's so... A fingerprint brush, a small amount of fingerprint powder, but it's missing the fingerprint tape. Hmm. Well, maybe we'll need a substitute for it or something. I don't know. Anyway, let's look around some more. Chewy caramel center. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> Awarded to Dr. Mort E. Shun by Sheriff Crook. Mortician by Sheriff Crook, really? Uh, that guy sounds crooked. I'm just saying. Let's look at the bookshelf. Lots of medical books there. Lots of medical books there. Lots of medical books there. That doesn't seem to work. Okay. I can't open that. Oh, well, I was kind of hoping maybe we could wait, push the bookshelf. I can't push that. Okay, maybe not. I was thinking maybe there's like a secret passage behind the bookshelf or something. I mean, you know, this is a weird town. And that guy's just standing around like a weirdo. He's just... Uh, I, I saw him watching me. That's like weird.
I know you're watching me, asshole. Come on out. Hmm. The inscription says, Pedotronics, the brain of our city. Mm hmm. Interesting. Alright, let's uh, open the door back here. Let's look around some more on here. Uh, look at some stuff here. Let's just say. Wanted. Shady Jane and the Sunshine Gang. Uh huh. Wanted. Huh? A meteor? <laughs> That's a reference to Maniac Mansion, I'm sure, because, you know, the meteor was wanted by the space police. And... Pickle Bill and the Cucumber Gang. Not sure what that's a reference to. What's in these? Just a bunch of files. Well, let's check them all. Just a bunch of files. Just a bunch of files. Just checking. Alright. Use radio. We interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with this important message. Strange signals are being transmitted oh my God. over the airwaves. Really? We've taken over the radio station until they stop. And now back to our special hostile takeover song. You're weird. <laughs> you got enough of that. Yeah. Okay. You stop them. It doesn't have any buttons. Hmm. It must be for incoming calls only. Hmm. That doesn't seem to work. The desk has no drawers. Oh, well, never mind that. Uh, use... Breaker 1-9, breaker, breaker. <laughs> Attention, old units. Enough screwing around. I've got a case to solve. <laughs> Alright, enough of that. Hmm... Is there anything else to look at here? Oh, let's go through the doors. What the hell is they doing there still? Hmm. Oh, I want that wrench. I'd better leave the back where it is. Hmm. Hmm. No time to talk. We have to fix this slight leak. Uh huh. Can I do anything to help? Well, the Hydratron's tube is obviously burned out. We could use a new one. A WC 67? Yeah, we're out of that size. Must have been the signals. Right. Signals. Right. Go, 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 go. At least they keep the streets clean. Yeah, that's weird. What happened to the wrench? Ah, oh, I guess they're using it. Well, we can't take that. Okay, well, there's a diner over here. Because I, I did get this far before. This place is closed. That place is closed. Ooh, the diner's open, though. Oh, we'll go through there in a minute. I want to check some other shit out first. Let's walk along and explore. Okay, that's weird. Hello, Reno. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is uh, uh, quite annoying. No, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, they will be taken care of. Yes, sir. Permanently. Okay. Oh, yes, sir. Violently. No, sir. Yes, sir. Uh huh. Yes, wrestling was quite good tonight. Goodbye, sir. Uh huh. That's a little weird. I wonder who he's talking about. Probably us. <laughs> Alright, let's go in here. Hmm. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? Quickie Pal, huh? Pear repellent. Take it. It was a sample from a traveling animal repellent salesman. Ooh. But I doubt if it actually works. I wouldn't want to find out. We probably need that. Greeting card. It's an I'm sorry for being a dick card. 
<laughs> rude. Only a dick would buy this card. I'm hit. It's an I'm sorry for forgetting your birthday card. That's sweet. It's an I'm sorry your hamster died. Oh my god, that's oh, a no. That's a reference. I personally, I'm really fond of the chocolate bonbons. That's a reference to Maniac Mansion, the hamster died thing. Uh, what's this one say? It's an I'm sorry you're feeling like a beep card. Please. <laughs> Let me know if I can help you find anything. It's an I'm sorry you're feeling like a beep card. It's an I'm sorry your face won't come off card. What? There's a picture of a clown with a lot of hair. Oh. Let me know if I can help you find anything. It's an I'm sorry you were cut out of the inheritance card. Okay. Yeah. Got in here. Okay, nothing Need there. An I'm sorry card? We have a great selection. Yeah, I'm sure you do. It's a mail slot. Is there anything in the mail? If I had something to mail, this might work. Uh -huh. Man eating I'm plant. Here to serve. Man eating plant. It looks hungry. I don't have an extra finger though. Well, we don't want to do that then. Uh, maps. There aren't any maps left. Hmm. Sorry, little dude. The sheriff came by a bit ago and nabbed all the maps. Didn't even pay for them. Something about immature dominion or something like that. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. Ooh, lotto. I don't want to pick that up. I personally am really fond of the chocolate bonbons. Good for you. I guess we'll talk to this guy. Hi there. I'm Quickie Pal Leonard. How can I help you? I'm Junior Special Agent Reyes. Uh, I'm not holding if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> Do you know anything about the body by the river? No, but I heard the sheriff nearly ralphed when he saw it. The only bods I've seen lately are the righteous babes at the top shelf of the magazine rack. Uh huh. Let's not go there. Yeah, really. Have you seen anyone acting suspiciously around town? Actually, now you mention it, I did see something suspicious a couple of nights ago. I was on the late shift getting ready to close up and grab some za when Willie the town bum walks in. Was totally whack when I think about it. Hmm, that's that guy that we saw in the prologue, in the prologue of this game, you know, where when you were, where you were playing the part of the victim that gets killed. <laughs> Why did Willie seem suspicious to you? Well, normally we have to toss him out because the dude smells grody and he never has any money. But for the first time in forever, Bro pulls out this wallet and flashes a fat stack of dead presidents. I thought it was kind of bitching when he bought out the liquor cabinet. He took... Could the wallet you saw have belonged to Willie? <laughs> oh, no way! That wallet was his! Figured he got lucky and found it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But come to think of it, I'm pretty sure the wallet had some weird red stains on it. Like some blood. Time, I thought it was the cherry mouthwash he drinks, but it could have been blood. It was blood. Tell me a bit about yourself, Leonard. Dude, how do you know my name? You told me your like telepathic or something? No. no. You just told me your name. Told me your name also, it's it on your name tag. <laughs> Do you like your job here at the Quickie Pal? Heck yeah! I got a freaking sweet deal here with free coffee and minimum wage. Plus, I don't get many customers on the late shift, so I get plenty of time to think. Hmm, interesting. You said you get a lot of time to think. I'm like an abstract thinker, way ahead of the curve, man. My mom right. says I be more like my cousin Bernard. Bernard. MIT. <laughs> but why be like that, Dweeb, when I could be like Chuck Edmund? Bernard. You mean like Bernard from Day of the Tentacle and Man at Edge? <laughs> wow. Chuck. He's my freaking hero, man. Dude never went to college. Just started building his machines when he was a kid. That guy made this town rich just by doing what he loved. Hmm. You seem to really admire Chuck. That's why I dropped out of high school. I don't want to live my life for the man like some peon in a polyester cage. No offense. None taken. Right. <sighs> These flickering lights are going to drive me insane. 
<laughs> yeah, it's a trip, isn't it? Oh, they're even better if you get a little toked up and, uh, <laughs> I mean, yes, officer, I'll get those fixed right away. Yeah, you probably shouldn't talk about that running with an FBI agent. <laughs> what do you think about the state of the town? Uh, Just ignore the losers who say this town is over. I mean, pff, not even. We got everything a person could ever need here in the quickie pal for one. Right. Look around your store. Yeah, we've already looked around the store, basically. I think I got everything I need here. Yeah, because that was the only thing I guess you could grab here. Let me know if I can help you find anything. Uh, I don't think we need anything in here, actually. At least not yet. Maybe we need something later. All right, oh, oh, oh. Can I pick up a speck of dust? Yes, I can. Let me know if I can help you find anything. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't really need that speck of dust, but hell. Ooh, a sewer grate. Can I open it? I can't open that. Okay, not with that. All right, look at. Ooh, vacuum tube. It's stuck. Damn it. Okay. Looks like I'm gonna need to do something to get that unstuck. Eventually. But I probably need it. I'm thinking. It's a pretty big vacuum tube. Hmm. I probably need that for something. I think it's broken. Okay, and that's broken. We can't do anything with that. Okay, well, there's something that way. The Vista. Let's go explore the Vista area. Not sure what's up here, but hell, might as well. We probably need to go to the uh, Easy Mart. I mean, uh, the, the diner back there. Oh, there's the circus. Oh, another speck of dust. Why do we need a speck of dust? Why are we picking up specks of dust, anyway? I don't know, but I'm grabbing them anyway. Whatever the hell they're for. Whoa there, little agent of Reno. You can't just go bumbling around the county without a map. It's too easy to get lost. There is a killer Reno on the loose. Which may be you. A map? Seriously? Oh, yes, and not just any map. But an official map. And where would I find this official map? Well, the county is plumberino out of them. I guess this really messes up your investigation. I'm sure the head office will understand Arena. Yeah, why are you trying to mess? Why are you why are you trying to mess up my? Uh... Not a chance. The feds never give up. I see. Yeah, we're not giving up, you asshole. I know you're trying to sabotage your investigation here. I'm a federal agent. I can take care of myself. And a darn fine agent, I'm sure of. But we have laws around here, and everyone is required to have an official map. Uh-huh. Where do I find an official map? Well, the county yeah, you is told us that. Reno out of them. I guess this really messes up your investigation. Yeah, we know you stole all the fucking maps. Aren't there the... some donuts that need eating? Well, you got me there. Oh, those donuts aren't gonna eat themselves. But we have laws around here, and everyone is required to have an official map. Uh-huh. Yeah, you're right. I'll head back to town and find a map. Ooh, donuts do sound good. Yeah. Yeah, you think I'm gonna do that? Whoa, there, Damn it! Reno. Like I said before, you can't just go bumbling around the county without a map. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. I'll head back to town and find a map. Ooh, donuts do sound good. Okay, I guess I can't go that way yet. I gotta go through there somehow, though. But I don't know how we're gonna be able to do that since he's not gonna let me go that way. That's just... that's weird. So they took my fucking map. Find a map. Hmm. Pigeons need a WC67 tube. 
put three reports in the restaurant, get blood drawn report. Yeah. All right, let's uh, talk to this. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. What is your plan? Okay, so she needs to find a map also. Hmm. Let's, uh... Let's go, uh... Hmm. So, uh, oh, I want that wrench. Damn it. That wrench. Yeah, that wrench is there. Sweet. Oh. Don't touch our wrench, Tron 3000. Only someone like me with the proper training can handle it. It's just a wrench, people. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, I guess I'm not going to let me take that. At least not yet. Let's go back, because I thought there was a... Oh, hit fly flyer. It says... Need help playing Thimbleweed Park. <laughs> Call the fully automated Hintatron 3000 at 4468. Interesting. Yeah, that is very interesting. <laughs> oh, shit. That's, that's too funny. But I don't see any phones to call the Hintatron. At least not yet. Maybe there'll be one we'll come across. Maybe we'll come across one. Oh god, not another speck of dust, really? Alright, I'll pick that up. Not sure why we're picking up specks of dust, but hell, I'll pick them up anyway. Hmm. Wait, is the Sheriff of Reno already... Is the Sheriff of Reno gone from there? If the Sheriff of Reno's gone from there, maybe I can, like, sneak into his office and steal one of the maps. I bet he has one. Somewhere. But where? It's already open. Well, that's weird. Just a bunch of files. Just a bunch of files. Just a bunch of I'm looking of at him again just to make sure that there's not a map in there. Just a bunch of files. Because you just never know. A bunch of files. Just a no. bunch of files. No map. Damn it. Well, we still gotta get the damn map. I was hoping it'd be that easy, but apparently not. I will check the coroner's office. Uh, probably not down there. It's empty. It's empty. It's empty. Nope. Hmm. 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 Very interesting. So, so someone's, namely the, um, namely the sheriff. Bought up all the maps. Why? It sounds like he's trying to sabotage the investigation. For what reason, we don't know. Use cell phone. Oh, really? Alright, let's call. Let's let's do it. I'm gonna I'm curious to see if this works. Welcome to the fully automated Hintron 3000 system. <laughs> we aim to make your experience... I can't believe that works. Easier. If you're ever stuck on a puzzle or don't know what to do, phone us. Oh the my god. Here will change god. Which part this you is so playing. hilarious. If you you're looking for, it's because you don't need to solve it right now. Right. You can always just hang up when you're done. My feelings won't be hurt much. How can I help you? Hmm. Okay. Uh, Talk to them and find out what they need. They already have. Explore town and see which shop might have what they need. Okay. Ricky's Cakes on B Street now sells tubes. Yeah. After you've talked to the Pigeon Sisters, you can ask Ricky for a WC67 tube and return to them with it. Thank you. Goodbye. But I didn't see a B... Oh. That's A Street, okay. Well, let's, um, let's find B Street, where that is. It's still... Oh, B Street. There we go. Maybe I can, uh, oop. Open dumpster. It's in there. It's already slightly open. I'm not going to open it anymore. Way too smelly for me. 
Filled to the brim with smelly trash. Okay, we don't need anything in there. Ooh, speck of dust, though. Not sure why we're picking up specks of dust, but I'm picking them up anyway. Ah, okay. Wait a minute. What's this? Pick up phone book. Oh. What the frick? All these are names. Okay. Who are these people? Wow. Who are these people? In this phone book. I don't want to look at the phone book. Ricky Lee. Hey there. Let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Uh huh. Alrighty now. I can't quite put my finger on it, but this place stinks of false advertising. Sorry about that, hun. This used to be Ricky's cakes, but now we sell vacuum tubes. Right. What an exciting life you lead. <laughs> anyway, I'm Special Agent Ray. I have some questions for you. Oh, pleased to meet you. I'm Ricky Lee, and I'm the proprietor of this little store. What can I do for you, hun? Hmm. I'm looking for a tube. For a friend, not me. We have lots of tubes here. Over 3,000 different makes and models. Do you know the two-letter model identifier? Uh, WC... And what is the make number? 67. Oh. Did one of the Hydrant Tron tubes burn out again? Uh, yes. The Pigeon Sisters need one right away. Okay, I'll put it on the town's account. I'll get one for you, hun. You uh, just wait right there. I'll be back before you know it. Uh -huh. Right. Here you go. Give the Pigeons my regards. Okay. Right. So I get the WC-67. Okay, that is what I got, I think. Yeah. Alright, cool. Alright, I probably should talk to her some more, shouldn't I? I'm sure there's more to this, but uh, let, yeah, let's go. Let's get it. Well, let's head back there and solve that puzzle at least. I'm not sure what we're gonna get for that. Maybe we'll get the maybe we'll get the damn um, wrench from that, because you know we we've helped them out with something. I'm not sure. Here's your WC67 tube. Thank you. What? I don't get anything for it? Oh, thanks. Here's our card in case you need any more plumbing help. We'll just clean up here and be gone soon. Okay. Okay. Oh, now I can go this way. Okay. So that clears that path open for us. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, weird. This town is fucking weird. That's all I can say. Oh, speck of dust. Let's pick that up. Not sure why we're picking speck. I can't reach that. Really? You can't reach the speck of dust. It's right there. I can't reach that. Okay, I guess you don't need that one then. Not that I wouldn't think you would need speck of dust anyway. I mean, look what I'm talking about here. Open this door. Nickel news. What do we got here? Ooh, a big tube. Can I take that? I might break the tube. Oh. Copy Tron 3000. It's a color copy Tron 3000. Really? Color copy Tron 3000. For all your copying needs. Mm -hmm. Copies, five cents each. Yeah, we don't have any money. Is there specs specks of dust? I saw a speck of dust again. Oh! Yeah, there is a... speck of dust. Yeah, <laughs> Okay, pick up. Yeah! <laughs> pick up specks of dust everywhere, man. Not sure why. But anyway. Ooh! Filing cabinet. Let's look that up. What we got in the filing cabinets? I don't want to open it. I don't want to open it. You don't want to open the filing cabinet. 
Fine. Welcome to the Thimbleweed Nickel. Eight years of experience and two degrees in journalism tells me you're a fed. Good guess, Scoop. You spend as much time as I have dealing with law enforcement. You get a second sense of this stuff. Plus the cheap suits. Mm-hmm. Mm, mostly the cheap suits. What's the deal with your sheriff? Seems kind of odd or Reno. He is an oddball, but eh, so is everyone around here. And it's only gotten worse since Chuck died. Chuck? Chuck Edmund, the pillow magnet. He pretty much ran this town since the 50s and owns the giant pillow factory. Well, owned. He died a few days ago. His niece Dolores and her sister Lenore stand to inherit a fortune if they'll just stop fighting. Hmm. What else do you know about Chuck? He started the pillow factory with his brother Franklin in the late 30s to make pillows for the war effort. Pillows win wars was their slogan. The factory and Chuck were the center of the thimbleweed social scene of the 50s. Go on. Chuck invested millions in automation and became an expert in AI. <laughs> Agricultural investment? Artificial intelligence. Oh, right. Uh, computers that can think. Right. He started automating the whole town. People tell me it was like living in the future. That's one of his machines over there. The Copytron 3000. Then... What? The big pillow factory fire happened and killed several workers, and the whole place was shut down. Hmm. Many blamed the fire on over-automation and computer error. But I think Chuck manipulated the sheriff, and it was blamed on the security guard on duty at the time. But it was too late. Chuck was disgraced and the factory's been closed for years. Hmm. A dark shell of abandoned machinery. Hmm. We're here investigating the murder. Know anything? Not much. Just what I heard over the police scanner. Body found in the river. I'll send my best reporter to check it out in the morning. Know who my best reporter is? You? If this damn town wasn't such a podunk, I'd have a couple of Pulitzers by now. This hmm. pillow factory fire story is my ticket out of here. We'll need a complete press blackout. Not with the First Amendment still in place. The core of a strong democracy is a strong press. Don't you mean the Fifth Amendment? Nope. That sets out rules for indictment by grand jury in eminent domain and protects the right to due process. Right. Oh, we can talk about different amendments here. Okay, interesting. Do you offer home delivery? Why? You plan on moving here? Not a chance. Yeah. <sighs> All right. Nice chatting. Got a murder to solve. Let's see what this says here. Okay, we got to find a map of Thimbleweed County. Not sure where the hell we're going to find that. Hmm. Ooh, Frame County map. Can I take that? Do you know this map is a priceless first edition? Please, don't touch. Yeah, well, we need a map. Now, how do I get that map from her? Can I help you? Why can't I take your map? I'm a federal agent. Okay, that's actually two questions. First, being a federal agent doesn't mean you can waltz into a newspaper office and take their map. Well, actually, it pretty uh, much does. We have a little thing called the Fourth Amendment. And second... That's a priceless original. If you want a map, check the Quickie Pal. Yeah, well, they're all, uh... Can I, as a private citizen, please have your map? Nope. It's a priceless original. Uh, okay. Well, we're gonna have to get that map. How are we gonna get that damn map? Because that's the only map that there is that isn't, uh... Because that asshole sheriffs took all the frickin' maps okay hmm. this town is fucking weird but anyway that's all we're gonna do for today uh hope you enjoyed this video stay tuned for more thimbleweed park stay tuned for more let's plays don't forget to like and subscribe and leave comments i will see you next time but for now bye bye Take care, people. Bye-bye.